Hello, look, all right, I know it's been a while, but in true Wickham style, we've got a huge comeback on the way. In this week's episode, we'll check in on the biggest bromance in Buckinghamshire. We'll also have a look back at a classic game from Wickham's history, and we got a brand new quiz for some of the players. Stick around. It's a brand new episode of Been With The Shot. Been With The Shot! It's a historic time to be a Wickham fan right now. The takeover vote happening, the Wanderers flying high in the league. And if you're talking about historic times, well, Fulham under 21 came to town the other day for the leasing.com trophy. We're starting a brand new feature on Beam with the Shot, testing how well the players know each other with a head-to-head -head game. First up, we're checking in with the biggest bromance in Buckinghamshire. Little Scotty Cashget and the best midfielder in the Football League. It's you, Dom, Dom, Dom. It's you, Dom. Gabe. OK, who is the worst dancer? Who is the longest in the mirror? More likely to score one on one versus the goalkeeper. Teacher's pet. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the mischief maker? Worst dress sense. <laughs> Who is most likely to win countdown? Okay. What's that? Most likely to win. Yeah. Countdown. Because yeah. I'm, I'm smart and I'm okay with you. No, but that's not all about it. It's words as well, you know, it's not just numbers. Yeah, but I've got a good imagination. Good. You got, you're good at spelling, mate. You asked me how to spell ridiculous this morning and you started R E D. 
doesn't matter. <laughs> all right, all right. Next question. Um, who calls who the most? Who, who like rings who the most? Who has more Twitter followers? Do you have Twitter? You do. You got a tick, don't you? Yeah, yeah you, you do. Yeah. Um, who is most under under the thumb? <laughs> <laughs> And finally, who loves balloons more? <laughs> it's the FA Cup first round proper this weekend. Wickham travel away to Tranmere Rovers. Now, when we were thinking of classic Wickham FA Cup games we could remember on this week's episode, we mulled it over quite a lot. Do we remember this? Shall we do that? Or, really, any excuse to see Wickham take on Liverpool in the semi-final? But their cup form has been pretty good. They've won the Worthington Cup. Uh, they're doing well in the UEFA Cup. Yeah, they haven't played us yet, though. It is quite simply the greatest day in the footballing lives of all of these Wickham players and most of their near 20,000 following. This wasn't supposed to happen. It's a daydream that they can really believe in. And only the FA Cup can make such wishes come true. The Oxbridge Blue Quarters of Wickham Wanderers in the FA Cup semi-finals. Well, let's take a final check on the lineups. Liverpool's 11 assembled at a cost of £30 million. A Wickham team costing just £275,000. Goalkeeper Martin Taylor used to be a pit-faced coal miner. In front of him, a back three of Jamie Bates, who scored the first goal of the cup run back in November. Jason Cousins, a former bailiff. And alongside him, Paul McCarthy, the Irishman who scored five times in this season's FA Cup. Spryzer right wing back, 19-year-old Ben Townsend, the youngest man in the semi. Chris Vinningham, uh, an ex-England under-21 internationals on the left. Solid unit of three in midfield. Danny Bowman just establishing himself this season. Michael Simpson, ex Notts County, the best passer in the team. And Steve Brown, the man suspended after his headline red card at Leicester, but clear to play now. Up front, Wickham's leading goal scorer Andy Rammel was always going to play, but Keith Ryan has got the nod over Guy Whittingham and Roy Isando. Are replicating it with a huddle of their own as if they needed to psych themselves up for this particular occasion. A return to a traditional FA Cup semi-final venue. Liverpool's 21st semi-final at Villa Park. His first. McAllister takes. Taylor punches. Using his one good arm. Gerrard with a cross. It's Wojtaski! It's been a long, long time in coming, but the Liverpool Cup adventure continues. Emil Heskey gives them the lead. They could be heading back to Cardiff again. For a long, long time, but I wonder whether there's anything he could have done, whether or not he'd had that injury a moment before Heskey scored, I doubt it. I don't think so, Clark. I think the header was close in. Crashing header, wasn't yeah. it? Plenty of options here for Liverpool. Fowler, Harman or Murphy. It's Robbie Fowler. Oh, terrific! The man who lifted the Worthington Cup in Cardiff puts the seal on it for Liverpool. They're heading back to the Millennium Stadium. Taylor Long. Whittingham waiting underneath it. Four three towards Ryan. Oh! Keith Ryan, who played non-league football for Wigan Wanderers, who has given them a chance, just a breath, a glimpse of a chance of rescuing this semi-final. Big long ball down the middle, little flick on, and he takes that ever so well. Lets the ball off his line, and three big long minutes now. 
when the game looked all cut and dry and you're thinking, oh, Liverpool are going to make it three or four. You Pick wonder. up the cheers. You, you wonder. wonder. We're starting something else brand new on the show today. A quiz that's going to run and run across the season, seeing what the Wickham players really do know. In this episode, we've got Paul Smith against Jacob Gardner-Smith. That's a crazy question, huh? You're, test, you you're testing me here. Yeah, I'll pass on that one. I don't know. Never heard of that before in my life. Oh, I did know that, actually. Yeah. I did know that. But you didn't. Well, clearly not. <laughs> <laughs> Am I supposed to? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm finished on that one. M I S S I S. Oh, it's crazy, isn't it? It's like all these mad letters in it. I P P I. M I S S E. M I S S I P E. Probably. <laughs> yeah, let's just literally. Why do they invent words like this? Why not just keep it simple for people like me? <laughs> oh, do you know what? My missus will kill me if I don't know this. Because we went to the Kent, Hever Castle. Um, Amberlynn. Um, Amberlynn. Uh, definitely not. I was just looking at the swords. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with three. Ah, you were one off, it's two. Uh, Two. I know there's another one. Anne of something. You don't, you don't need to name them, just tell me how many there were. I'm gonna go... Two. Two, yeah! Jeez. Well done, someone pays attention to you before. <laughs> oh, I should know this as well. I'm not good with putting on the spot. Never gonna... What, what are the lyrics again? I'm never gonna dance again. Do you want to give me the answer so I can take a sing along anyway? Pass, I have no idea. Too, I'm too young for that. <laughs> My mum's going to kill me for this. You're going to get me in trouble. Ah. <laughs> uh, it's not Will Smith. Um, Will Smith, yeah. Yeah, it's Will Smith, yeah. I don't know, but I'm going to go with Will Smith, but it's not him, is it? Yeah, Will yes. Smith. I love that movie as well, so I should know that. <laughs> Thank you, Winky, Dipsy, La La, and Poe. I don't know which one, though. <laughs> you got Dipsy, La La. Poe is the, the red one. Poe. Poe's the red one, isn't it? Here's my favourite. I dressed up as Halloween. Uh, I'm gonna go Tinky. I'm gonna go Lala. Yeah, that's right. Jeez! <laughs> oh, that's poor. Beam with a shot! First of all, Nick, happy birthday. Thank you very much. You received the cake there from your, uh, from your sponsor. That's gonna be enjoyed in the, uh, in the canteen uh, after, after training. Yeah, 100%. That'll be cleaned up. So onto the football, uh, Nick, at the, at the leasing.com trophy uh, with the feet of Fulham on Tuesday night. But we have a chance to go uh, well in the figure up on Saturday away at Tranmere. Yeah, of course. That's the thing with football. Um, you can put things right as quick as possible. I know Tuesday didn't go as well as, as, well as we wanted it to. Um, we obviously wanted to win and progress in the cup, but hasn't worked like that. So we'll obviously learn from that. But Saturday we can put it right in a, in a big FA Cup tie, which you want to go on a good cup run in. You've had experience in the FA Cup uh, during your time at Wickham, um, but having that uh, chance to win in the first and second round to get an elusive third round side is something that any player wants, isn't it? Yeah, time? of course. When you're in a, the, lo the lower, well, lower than Premier League, you just eye up a Premier League draw when you get to that to that round. So yeah, we want to get to the third, fourth round and get a big a big draw. It's exciting. 
What draw would it be for you if you, if you got uh, Arsenal away would be for me. That's, that's <laughs> my team. So, yeah, I'd love to go to the Emirates. And um, for you, getting into the team at the moment, there's a lot of competition for places. For you, it's the midfield role that you've settled into a lot this season and, and, and it's impressive. Yeah, no, yeah it's a lot, in all areas, there's a lot of competition. This is the biggest and the best the squad's been since I've been here, and the gaffer would agree. And yeah, everyone's just pushing everyone higher and higher and playing at the best of their game. So, of course, it's tough and you just got to keep doing what you've got to do. And yeah, of course, great competition all around pitch. Is that somewhere you, where you see yourself as a midfielder rather than uh, the winger role? Because when you were in non-league, you were more of a winger. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I was a midfielder growing up and I've always preferred playing midfield, attacking midfield sort of thing. And I feel like I've progressed there this season and I just, yeah, I like playing there. You're going into the FA Cup as the second uh, highest ranked team uh, in the first round. That's something that, if I told you that at the start of the season, it's something that you wouldn't have uh, really thought. Yeah, if, if you said that to any of us at the beginning of the season, we would have raised a few eyebrows. But listen, can't, can't fault what we've done this season so far been brilliant and there's there's no there's no surprise in where we are because of how well we've been playing and off the pitch our togetherness is just next to none so it's quality. Any player that comes in here automatically feels welcome I mean we signed nearly 10 new players in the summer and they've all settled in really well so that's a credit to how, how well the club and how the dressing room is. Yeah it's a credit to get through the door that's what Gaffer and Dobbert always say to get through the door you've got to be a good a good uh, character and everyone here is everyone's together and all the senior boys have said they've never been in a dressing room, room like this before, so it's very rare what we have, but it's good also. And that is it for this week's episode of Being With The Shot. Look, it's an exciting time to be a Wanderer. So make sure you keep up to date with everything that's happening at Wickham Wanderers by following the club on all social platforms and by subscribing to our YouTube channels as well. And we'll see you next time right here for another Being With The Shot. Being With The Shot!